Hey guys, Kaylee here and welcome back to the Honey's Dead. I'm wearing my bee veil because today is probably one of the first days in a long time that it's actually been warm enough here in Virginia. I have noticed that I do need to start telling people. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi, what are you doing? You scared me. I thought you were a big scary bear. Oh my goodness. Okay, listen, Mr. Gray. You need to be careful. These bees, they're gonna get you. Told you this cat is like enjoying on the, being on this farm and has been following me around, but this is one area that I don't necessarily want him to be in because it's, it is beautiful and it's warm and all the bees, seriously, you're gonna get in trouble. You're gonna get in trouble. The bees are flying. I'm sitting here looking at all of the hives, assessing everyone, watching their activity, seeing how well they're flying, what type of activity. It is still about, let me look at my temperature because I'm trying so hard to get into my bees today and do a quick hive inspection, at least on a few. I don't know if I'll have enough time to do all of them. The other thing that I'm kind of taking into consideration is it is a little bit windy. So right now it is 57 degrees. That is about the temperature that I would say, yes, get into your hives, do a hive inspections. It is sunny. There's no, there's a little bit of clouds in the sky, but not too many. So I might, I might wait about a half an hour. Then it's supposed to be 61 to get in and do some of my hive inspections, at least one. I would love to be able to share one hive inspection with you guys because I don't know about you guys, but I'm missing it. And I know you guys are, a lot of you are in the same boat as I am and you guys miss your girls just like I do. So, but in the meantime, look, look. literally only been out here for a couple minutes and I've already lost my hive tool. I did want to mention my side business on top of doing YouTube and sharing and just encouraging beekeepers to get in there and become beekeepers, but we do custom hive tools. The coating that we use is Cerakote. It's a very durable ceramic coating. Hi kitty, you are one brave cat. We try to feature and put out new ones almost every month, but we figured if you are going to be a beekeeper and you want to be a little bit fabulous, well, you don't have to be fabulous. You can be fabulous if you would like to be, but it's a good way to just be fun and customize and do have something that's a little different and unique. And we do try to do random fun ones pretty much monthly. I will put the link in, but that is on our Etsy store. Keep an eye out. We've got some pretty cool stuff happening. We've got some pretty cool colors, pretty cool designs. This one has been special to me. It is honeycomb pattern with honeybees. Again, it's covered in propolis, but I will put the Etsy store up so you guys are welcome to shop that. Let's get into this hive. On some of our smaller hives, we did go ahead and make up some sugar bricks, and this is pretty much what's left. This is what's left of the sugar bricks that they've been nibbling away at it. Not every beekeeper chooses to supplement, and I will say that you're gonna hear and you're gonna see many different opinions, especially with beekeeping and what to do and techniques and what not to do and this, that, and the other. I just want you as a beekeeper to make that decision for yourself. We decided to make sugar bricks. There were a couple of hives that we have that were late swarms that really just didn't have that, didn't have that time to build up and, and see them through the winter. So we chose to put in some sugar bricks. Um, there is a video out there that you guys are welcome to look at to see how we made our own sugar bricks. 
We've been using the same recipe for a couple of years now and have had a pretty good successful turnout when it comes to seeing your bees through the winter. This is also, I just removed, I don't know if you guys could see it, hopefully you could. I just removed, this is a hive beetle trap. I put them in, uh, this one I put in right after our honey harvest, if I remember correctly. But these are hive beetle traps and all that's inside of it is mineral oil, but you can actually see the hive beetles that, that it's already, that's already trapped. So it's definitely an inexpensive way to help combat um, hive beetles, so. Check out the girls. Look at you. She's having a conversation. Meanwhile, I'm doing this hive inspection and I literally have a cat <laughs> that has not left my side, like one bit. So, and now he's trying to attack me. Seriously, you, ah, no, no. <laughs> I think you were born to be a farm kitty. I think you were born to be a farm kitty. This cat's nuts. <laughs> Got some capped honey up at the top and the bees look like they're eating, eating away on this side. So, not disappointed. Not disappointed at all. I'm giving it a good look though to see if I can see the queen. Same thing on the back side. I typically will do my hive inspections from left to right. And I did not do that on this one, mainly because the bees were on the right side. So I wanted to go straight there. I'm trying to get this done fairly fast, mainly because the wind is picking up a little bit. Um, we're still good within the temperature range. I just don't want to chill them. Hey guys, I'm seeing some brood. I share this quite often, but if you just give a gentle, you can move the girls out of the way, but check that out. Okay, so there's some brood. That's capped brood. I see larva. Let's see if I can get you guys closer. And I see brand new egg, oh my goodness. That is a beautiful sight to see. All right, girlies, I know. Ever so lightly. Gosh, I wish I had the different camera. You can kind of see little itty bitty egg right in the bottom center of the cell. And that's, that's what we're looking for. And then right here, little blow gets them out of the way so that is capped capped brood see how puffy it is and then if you look right right up here I'm gonna blow again okay see that white thing that look at the larva okay perfect okay look right there to the left you see all the brand new eggs and larva capped brood white healthy looking larva so what I look for when I see larva I want to see nice and shiny white not gray. I'm looking, I'm seeing multiple different stages. I see brand new baby eggs and just seeing my girls fly, you know, it is such an amazing sight to see. Such an amazing sight. Okay, I went ahead and put that frame back. My hands were a little bit full, but that's what I look for. 
I don't look for my queen. I, if I find her, oh my goodness, that is a plus, that's a benefit. I love to see what she looks like, but I don't always look for my queen. I always look for brand new baby eggs, fresh out of her oven. <laughs> and and that is, that's one thing that sometimes your hive inspections, you know, you're going in, you're looking, you're looking, you're looking, you're spending all that time looking for the queen, but you don't necessarily need to be looking for her. You just need to be looking for egg. It is so rewarding to see a hive that you have made it through. Now, you know, that's the one thing about beekeeping is you guys are gonna experience all of it. You're gonna experience coming out of winter and losing a colony and that is, that is devastating. I feel it, I hear it, I know, I've been there. I've lost many colonies. Many. <laughs> I've done everything right and lost them. I've done everything wrong. I've kept them alive. But when it comes to beekeeping, and you know, I've said it in the past, many of you guys have been with me, with my channel for a very long time now. And I've, but I'm getting some new people. So I'm going to tell you guys if you lose a colony, you do not fail. You do not fail. Yes, you might have lost a colony, but what is the ultimate purpose of having bees? And that is to pollinate. So even if you lost a colony, they still pollinated, you know? They still did their job. Don't give up. Catch another swarm or get another nuke or if you guys do packages, get another package. But this colony right here makes it all worth it. I was hoping that we would be able to see her, but I'm going to <laughs> go ahead and get this hive put back together. They have plenty of honey, they've got plenty of pollen, they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. And I was happy to see some brand new eggs and some larvae. So far this one's pretty good. So I've got good hopes. You cannot, please don't. Yeah. He's gonna figure it out. I've already tried to get him out of the apiary a couple of times and it's not working. So I'm definitely not disappointed in what we saw going in and doing that hive inspection. Um, I am hopeful that these girls are going to be wonderful this coming spring and I've got to start preparing my splits. I got to start preparing my nukes for everybody. And then I need to kind of start lining up and letting everyone know, hey, we are probably going to have some bees ready and available this, this coming spring. We still have a lot of changes that we're going to be making this year in our apiary. Actually, I've shared with you guys that we are still planning on moving our bees and I think we picked a perfect location for them um, here on our farm but I will share with you guys when we do that but for right now the girls are still up here in my garden and very much loved and very much just enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of a hive inspection with me and as always don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old. <laughs>